the 2K Sports pregame show. Hello, basketball fans. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports, along with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. I'm Ernie Johnson. Our game tonight featuring the Cleveland Cavaliers as they go up against the Boston Celtics. Well, for Boston, just one win over the last seven games. They're not happy with how they're playing. Looking to make amends tonight. Last time out for them, Freak set a career high in points. He's shown glimpses of what he's capable of before. Shaq, was his outburst a one-time thing, or can we expect more of that from him? You know, he's a smart player. You know, the last game he had a matchup he felt he could exploit, and he made the most of it. You know, I saw his coach on the sideline calling plays. He was waving his coach off saying, no, this guy's barbecue chicken. I'm going to take him to the hole. He has a lot of tools, and I think he can do this more often. But consistency is something that he needs to develop. Hey, listen, after a performance like that, though, Ernie, the focus is now on him. So he has to read defenses a little bit better tonight if he wants to cap that kind of performance again. And we will wrap it up as we take you to courtside. Thank you for joining us. It's an all-Eastern Conference matchup in today's game as the Celtics come into town for this one. With that road trip behind them, the Cavaliers ready to perform in front of their hometown fans here in Cleveland. And of course, John Henson. Okay. Of course, we did Kevin, I he was career really best, but you know what? I'm not going to guarantee it. Not but there's a possibility that we can do better. To say the trade was a mistake, like always, I think they'll miss him more than you the might you know, chemistry rise, I, I agree with you, Clark, because he was a, a glue guy. You know, he's a guy that kind of held things together for them Crap. in a few areas. And so not having him around might take some getting used to. And now the opening lineup for Boston. Thomas is the I really like this uniform. It really looks side. different. I like that. Jared Selinger is out there with Jones. And it's Ashik in at the five spot. Bradley misses the three. Inside, LeBron. It's tipped Dude, what the F? Tops. You're a horrible passer, Jordan. It's just simple as that. He kicks to Sullinger. I don't control how he passes it ever. Thomas a screen. Pull from the top of the key. Yeah, I like, caught the block. Knocked loose. Wallace with it. Now Thomas defending. And it's love missing. Here are the Celtics with the ball. Last game matched up with the Clippers. A tough loss there. Yeah, foul trouble early on, I thought, set the tone in that game, and it just made it difficult for them to get over the hump. Yeah, it really got them out of sync, and that hurt them big time. Forced them to go. Sorry, guys, I'm going to have to look at this a little bit. Very quick. deeper into their bench than they would have liked to. And so it's the Celtics getting on the board first. Verizhao with a screen on Jones. LeBron kicks to Verizhao. Here's Jordan. And the layup is good. Well, I'm, get, I'm literally against midgets always good for in once. Business, and the NBA is no different. From what I've heard, Clark Freak Just has saying. done a good job of reaching out to his peers. Uh, all oh, over the yeah, NBA. You, I think that's an that. example of Freak just having Got a good head on the show. Got that sound stuck in my head. That taking the time to get to know others in the business has its benefits. Here's Hushik following the basket by Freak. Shot clock at six. Thomas against Irving. Thomas, no luck. A, a little what offense that, bro? On that possession, trying to hit a shot in the face. Of that defensive Can you guys pass rock, please? Okay, I made one bad pass, but now it's everyone doing it. That's ridiculous. Outside Jones. Wasn't even really necessary to throw it in the paint Thomas that quick and early. That drops. Ashik's got his first basket. And he's starting to get what he wants here early and often. Nice move. Let's send it out to DB who caught up with head coach Brad Stevens. Doris. Team rebounding is something he stressed to his side, and rightfully oh, yeah. so when you face a player that gobbles up the glass like Kevin Love. 
He told me that love rebounds at an unreal rate, and his side can't take any mental breaks when it comes to boxing out on the defensive end. Love's numbers validate that fear, guys. All right, Doris. Now here's Jones. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against the Clippers. Kicks it out to Bradley. Knocks down the three ball. Bradley's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Now the dish to Love. Jordan at the elbow. He sinks the 11-footer. Jordan's got his second basket of the game. And certainly Freak has established himself as one of the up-and-coming stars. He'll be going up against others in the Rising Stars game. Yeah, exciting to That's see nice. all the young talent on the same floor during All-Star Weekend. And Freak and others making sure the NBA keeps that pipeline of stars full. Here's Thomas following the basket by Freak. Steps back and fires. The rebound, Kyrie. It and it's out of bounds. Last touch by Thomas. Why don't we take this chance now to show you the most active wing defenders in the league? These are this season's steals leaders at small forward. LeBron James third. I mean, if you're an opposing small forward, this could also be called a list of the league's most annoying players. I mean, they will be in your jersey all night when you're up against them. Greg, they are an elite group of defenders. I mean, yes. they don't just make it difficult for opposing small forwards. They pester entire teams with their activity, jumping in the passing lane. My with their hands um, and feet. Very size and my rep solid, solid will draw attention, and I can yeah, I could be a real serious big deal in this stuff. game because yeah, me being guys, the much again, bigger no player other than you know maybe their center. Following the score by Cleveland. I need to be on, in the post. I need to get the ball more. I'm not trying to be a ball. I don't have to score. I can just pass the ball. Just get to whoever's open because. <clears throat> They're gonna double team a lot, and this should be an easy win. And I can't believe we're down by one point because we're that pathetic at the start of the game. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you gotta play without foul. This is his first free throw of the game. Okay, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. Okay, there's two shots. That free throw, no good. The rebound. He the rebound. the second from the line. Mind. And so it's Cleveland with it, trailing by two. They're coming off that win against Minnesota. And if you look at the numbers, guys, I mean, what jumps out at you is the balance they had offensively. Very satisfying road win because you're right. There was tremendous balance displayed. I mean, the crowd was basically stunned at how they were able to dismantle that defense. And he gets it to oh my go. God, guys! Nice what the heck? Feelings, midget, take the lead. Get that one up and over. I swear to God, if we lose this game, well, it's not I swear to God, you're probably there, gonna hear my biggest rage yet. The on the inside helped him make it happen. Now here's James, still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. And he gets it to go. Nice little switch. I didn't even mean to do that, but it's a good thing he did. Because he's probably going to flat out blop the junk, the dunk. It's a good thing he switched to the left at the last second. I like that. Passes it to Asha. He definitely has his bright moments, but he sure as heck has his dark Solid moments. And he's got plenty, has plenty of those. Go from deep, and again, Boston with the triple. My really team has plenty of dark moments. Looks like that. I mean, that's just inviting trouble. The Cavaliers trail by three. We know what's like to lose, and lose to the teams that you just don't ever lose to. And here is Irving, turned in an outstanding game against Minnesota. Love kicks to Berejao, and he barely. I should not be boxed out at all by this yeah, five-foot player. The Same right. And the chemistry between those teammates. Now Thomas. 17 points in his last outing. Here's Irving. That drops and it comes off an Can't buy one back Jordan. in the post. I didn't that mean to do that. Part of their offense in the early stages. I mean, their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range right at the rim. And Clark, they might as well keep doing it. I mean, attack the basket until the defense makes an adjustment. And here's a look at some stats for Sullinger. He's been a factor for them over the Don't last Don't care. Month.
the game, nine rebounds and three assists. And, and some pretty good numbers, guys. He's certainly making a contribution. Better than expected. He still has a ways to go, but I like what I'm seeing right now. Thompson, he's checked in for Anderson Verizhao. Boston also All right, with go. a sub. Zeller's checked in. Midget. Outside Brantley. Sullinger a screen on Jordan. Back. Sullinger the screen. And Zeller kicks to Sullinger. He clangs that one off the back iron and down it falls. Sullinger's gotten five. For Cleveland, they've gotten seven of their first ten attempts to fall so far. Excellent pace to their offense. It's a pick by Love. Thompson dishes to James. Bradley against Jordan. Again, the Cavaliers score. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart. Man, this, this guy cannot guard me. This will be a, a humiliating game for Bradley. I guarantee that it will be now, a very humiliating Tums. game. Logan, at the numbers, I won't have to score. I'll just do anything against him. I'll just do whatever I want. Down low, up off the screen. No good at the rim. LeBron kicks to Irving. So this needs to be to one of our easiest wins of the season. Yeah, good job to take it right at the D. Yeah, really left him no choice there, Greg. I mean, he had to foul and keep him from converting the easy bucket. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for Cleveland? Fellas, they're passing the ball the way you're supposed to here in this first half. Something else they've been able to do so far tonight is earn those tough points in the paint. J.R. Smith's checked in for Kevin Love. So Boston going with almost an entire new group here. David Lee's checked in for Zellinger. King comes in for Jones. Marcus Smart's checked in for Bradley. And it's Rogier in for Isaiah Thomas. I have no idea what's going on in the background. And so Irving nails Clear. both of them. He's a dead eye at the line, fellas. Just call him automatic. He doesn't miss many of those. The pass to Smart. Lee sets a screen for Smart. Pass to well, Lee. I'm barely on King the God's it. barely by taller. And he was camped in the lane there, and he gets the three-second call. The Cavaliers leading by three. They've oh, I was open and pretty from I could have demanded a ball five. Really I didn't know so. And I like that posture and mindset. Stay aggressive. Yeah, Great, you like groove, don't you? I do. Let's groove tonight, Kevin. And matter of fact, <laughs> let's just stay in the attack mode that we're seeing from these guys. They're getting whatever they want. <laughs> now here's Smart. After You're LeBron not smart, James is missed. Not smart. I don't know if he does it. Down to five on the shot clock. The Celtics need to get a shot off. Very blah Rozier. offense. Good and smart gets the assist. Rozier's got it all tied up now for Boston. And, and that's good stuff from him. Nice touch. I have to. I'll almost guarantee myself another 30 point so game because this is ridiculous. The screen from Thompson. James kicks to Jordan. In the corner, God, I can't perform the same moves at all. Dishes to Thompson. And he gets it to go. Uh. The Cavaliers lead by two. I think they need to get much more disruptive defensively. They can't just keep allowing these easy baskets. That's got to be job number one right now. Nothing easy on the inside. Here's Rozier. Oh my God, five idiot. points a game. Out of bounds. Cleveland will take possession. That's a major mental mistake. I mean, there's no other way for me to describe it. He didn't know where he was on the court. That's a that's a that's a basic fundamental. You have to be alert to where you are.